So let's start with the cyanide antidote on uh, chemical tankers, what we have and uh, what we should have. So this is a medical kit information and this kit uh, describes for certain cargos from Chris code. If you go, there is a chemical hazard response information system code on the ship, which gives the MSTS of all the cargos for one each, each page. And at the end, you will have this uh, that as per the doctor, we need uh, some uh, antidotes or medical kit for this special type of cargos. So if you are carrying these cargos, acetone cyanohydrine, acetone nitrile, acrylonitrile, adiponitrile, ethylene cyanohydrin, methacryonitrile, propionitrile, and toluene diisocyanate. So cyanide or cyanide is the most dangerous as we know. If you just touch it on your tongue, a slight pinch of this cargo, immediate death, nobody can uh, be saved or can be alive to tell what was the experience. So generally is very, very, very rarely carried, but some products of these might be carried. So uh, you need to have a medical kit, which consists of these uh, 12 pearls of amyl nitrile, which are antidote for cyanide or uh, sterile syringes of different sizes, sodium nitrate ampules and sodium thiosulfate ampules of 10 and 50 cc's, 3% and 25% solutions respectively. So chemical tankers, we have to carry this medical kit as I told you, you can obtain this details from MFAG also, it's called a poison chest. You might have it in master's custody or ship's office or chiosar custody. So these are the antidote kits or list which we had on our ship. Sodium nitrite and all those things, similar kit. This is the kit. There are different syringes, bottles, capsule, pipes. Ammonia inhabitant. It has a copy of instructions also, how to go about it. If you are exposed to these cargos as mentioned. If it is given in Appendix B of the Chris code, if you want to see details. So this is a cyanide antidote package instructions to page two. So when somebody is exposed, you can read the instructions and see how to use as per the different conditions. So first thing is if you're got, we know skin exposure, we take shower, remove the clothing, and then artificial respiration for the different cargos if you have breathing problems. And then break this amyl nitrile capsule. And you give him this like in a cloth or something This is for big respiration problems. So first uh, you can try CPR or artificial respiration, ventilations and all. Last option we have to give this uh, mouth to mouth respiration because uh, these are very cargos uh, which are very poisonous as we know. So mouth to mouth should be the last option because the same uh, chemical which is inside him can affect you also. And then we can give as a last option as amyl nitrile also and ask the person to inhale with uh, putting in a cloth like you put chloroform or something on a clean cloth. So you inhale for at least 30 seconds, rest for 30 seconds, then inhale for 30 seconds, rest for 30 seconds like that, keep doing. It should not be too close to the nose and the person who is holding the handkerchief, he must, uh, basically the amyl nitrile the chemical should not touch the hand. It should just be uh, inhaled. So it, it happens that sometimes 
uh, somebody was uh, if it is he is exposed he might not know but he will get headache or nausea or symptoms so then also we have to follow the same procedure and uh, the person gets better in one or two minutes and if you are not get uh, okay in 5 to 10 minutes or it is in 5 minutes then you can uh, use a sodium nitrile injection and as per the instructions you can use how much you have to use and even after giving sodium nitrile if you is not feeling good then you can use sodium thiosulfate as a last option and it's also given for adult what are the doses you can see here 10 ml intravenous injection so normally this is uh, a problem is by manifold connection starting of cargo ending of cargo and disconnection but if somebody swallows it it's a big problem like through samples or something so you need a special doctor you use uh, enema or a special pipe you put inside the mouth or from the anus and then remove the poison depending where it is located and he sucks the gastric juices or poison from your stomach or intestines so this gastric lavage process is done by a professional doctor and so this is a very rare operation which you rarely find or hear about but these are the procedures which you should know 99% of the cases just by inhaling amyl nitrile it should be okay 